Hi everybody, Simona here from Vector Twist. In Adobe Illustrator 2018, we have something really fun and new to work with. We're going to work with OpenType SVG color fonts. There are still in the concept phase, but now imagine the type that you can install on your computer is going to be a color font. So let me show you right away. Here on the screen, you can see a font and it's called Pixar. The download link for this color font is in the description. And I would like to show you how you can work with OpenType SVG color fonts. Now, what does that mean, OpenType SVG? Now, when you select your font and you're going to open up the character panel and then select the drop down, I'm choosing here the Pixar color font. You can see on the side here the little icon O for OpenType, but now we have a little add on on the bottom called SVG. This right away tells us that we are working with a color font. Now, color fonts are really fun because they can have multiple colors, shades, textures, and even transparencies. We have two types of color fonts. We have the vector shape based ones, and we also have bitmap image color fonts. Now, of course, with any font here in Illustrator, you can outline them, or you can change the text. So instead of saying hello, I can just type hey, and it will choose this particular color font. This is really fun. Now, there's a little bit of drawback with OpenType SVG color fonts that right now you can use them in Illustrator 2018 and the latest Photoshop version. Of course, you can use those fonts already on the web as well, but be aware that only two browsers support them. It's Microsoft Edge and Firefox. Everybody else is still adapting. Now let's have a look again at the character panel. I open up the dropdown of the font family I want to choose. And as you can see on top here, we have another font available. This font comes with Adobe Illustrator 2018 and it's Trajan Color. It's a concept font again, but as you can see, if I select it, we have now the Trajan font that has color and gradients. So if you go back to the character panel, you can see the font style itself is called concept because it is really still brand new and things will have to be worked out and we can still run into some problems. And then just to show you again, here is another one I've downloaded. Again, the link is in the description. It's called Apollone and it's a really fun font as well. Now to install a color font, if you've downloaded one, I would like to show you how to install it. It's really simple. So let's go through the steps. For example, here I downloaded a font called Bungie. Check the link in the description to download it yourself. So we have the zip files. All we do is double click it to open it up. Then we're going to go into the folder. And then here we have all of the folders with the fonts, the color fonts, the basic one for the desktop and for the web. We're going to be working with the Bungie color font folder. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to double click the Bungie color regular SVG TTF. So I'm going to double click it. I'm working on the Mac here. So font book will open it for me. As you can see, you will not see any color here in our preview. The apps haven't been updated yet to show you the color preview. It will show you the standard fallback to black, which is going to click install font. And then I'm going back to Illustrator, select my text, go to the character panel, choose the type from the drop down. And as you can see here, I have Bungie color regular. I'm going to choose it and voila, we just installed our first color font. Just to double check when we go back to the character panel in the drop down, you can see that it has the little icon open type SVG. And the reason for that is that color fonts will be converted into vector shapes, hence scalable vector graphics, the short SVG. Now, if I want to go back and switch to my other color fonts that I've used earlier, all I have to do is select it and voila, I have another color font applied to my text. And this is pretty much it. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what color fonts are here in Illustrator 2018. If you want to know more, just go to vectortwist.com. This video has a supported blog post which explains in much more details what OpenType SVG fonts are all about. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip about OpenType color fonts. Please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share it. I'll see you next time.